the story? Alice trashed her room. She spray painted her wall. <laughs> Tracy? Oh, um, hi, Jig. A slight problem. I'm going to need your help. Uh, I've already told Low. To get onto level two, you have to go through the gates of doom with the poison apple. It's not the computer. I need you to share your room for a bit with Amber. We've got to do a quick graffiti cleaning, hers. I'm not sharing with Amber. You're just asking for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, Tracy, it's already sorted. Oh, then unsort it. It's just till tomorrow. Wait a minute, I haven't agreed to this yet. Oh, come on, Tracy, it's only for one night. You'll have a laugh. Yeah, Nathan's right. This is going to be fun. What are you doing? What is your problem? This is my room with my things. I don't want them all mauled and messed about. Ooh, a bit touchy, aren't we? Are you sleeping in here tonight? Yeah, come in. You can help me with my uh, bedroom. Excuse me, I haven't said they can come in. This is my room, remember? Correction, this is our room. And if I say they can come in, they can come in. Right, where am I going to put my stuff? Touch it and you're dead, Justin Littlewood. Just ignore her. She needs to learn how to share. Can I borrow this? No! <sighs> Don't be such a prima donna, Tracy. You should know why now that nothing's private in a care home. Quite an artist, our Amber. Mm. Let's get it painted and back to normal before Jenny gets back. Should all be dry by tomorrow. I'll get another brush. <laughs> Never treat me sweet and gentle the way she should. I've got it bad and then it's Morning, Jake. Good. Morning. Hello, Adele. How did the audition go? Um, not sure. I think we've got the gig. Am I looking at the next big thing? Duke, the band's just me and a couple of mates from college, that's all. It's a laugh. Y you're not looking for another singer, are you? My old heart is sentimental, not made of wood. You'll have to join the queue. Tracy's been on at me already. She's even writing her own song. That doesn't rhyme properly. Oh, do you mind? I don't know why you're bothering to write a song anyway, Tracy. Adele's never in a million years going to have you in her band. You're rubbish, I think. Yeah, Tracy, I've heard you singing in the bath. You're tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, this is an emergency. What's the matter? Amber! Is she OK? She won't be if she stays in my room for much longer. Oh. I want her out by the end of the day, or I will not be responsible for my actions. Tracy! Don't Tracy me by the end of today. Oh, I'm sick of this place. Sick of sharing everything all the time. I know. No, you don't. Tracy, I was brought up with four brothers in a three-bedroom semi. Believe me, I know. And get this. Now she's telling everyone I'm tone deaf. I'm an undiscovered musical genius. Everyone knows that. Well, then, we can't waste all that talent, can we? Maybe we should get you an instrument to play. Something of your own. You serious? Yeah. yeah I learned guitar when I was your age. It would be something you wouldn't have to share with anybody. That'd be great. Right, well, uh, I'll give Elena a call, see if we can sort something out. Thanks, Duke. The girl's bound to let me in a band now. Oh, you'll have to learn how to play it first, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right, I want something really trendy, like a saxophone. And then I'll be discovered and taken away to somewhere people will treat me like I deserve. Chamber. Oh, come on, you two. You should be dressed by now. Second door on your left. No way, guys. No way. There's a big mutant troll thing behind the third door. Trust me, third door. OK. Third door. Oh! oh! Now look what you've done. You bit my head off. Sorry, guys. Maybe it was the second door. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you, Lane. I didn't think you'd be able to come up with anything so quickly. It's been sitting in my attic for years. Duke, Tracy won't let us have a go. It is her instrument, Justine. But that's not fair. We want something to play to. Yeah, can you get me a bass guitar, Lane? I'll a drum kit. I think that might be pushing it. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry, Elaine. They'll get over it. No, no, they're quite right, Duke. It's not fair, is it? Think how you'd feel. You're right. 
Oh. Well done, Tracy. Another few weeks and she'll be well away. I don't care what they say. I'm not about to play nobody's game. Cause it's all about the dog in me. That's really good, Adele. It's a bit different in front of a crowd of people. It's quite scary, actually. You were scared? With a bit of luck, I didn't show it. So, what do you think? I can either play the sax in your band, well, mine until I get really good, or I could sing, or both, but not at the same time, obviously. Um. Yo, level four. How amazing is that, dudes? Can I have a go now? Guys, her name's back, and you want to see what she has got. Wow, well, Elaine, where'd you get all these? I have my connections. Come on, let's go start our own band. Yeah, wicked. Here, Louise, you can have the violin. That's woofy. I want the trumpet. No, I want the trumpet. Uh, girls, share. Fine. Whoever can blow the trumpet the loudest gets it. Oh, come on, Bounce. It's my turn. You've done it. Finish level 10. Oh, I could. I used to play bass. Listen to this. That's nothing. Listen to this. Duke. Elaine got all these new instruments. Yes, thanks, Elaine. The whole house is alive with the sound of music. <laughs> Amber! I don't believe you've been reading my diary! Not my fault. You shouldn't leave it lying around. I didn't leave it lying around. I left it under my pillow on my bed in my room. I don't know what you're belly aching about. Apart from the really funny bits like, uh, how you're gonna be rich and famous, yawn, yawn, and how your mum's gonna whisk you away in her private helicopter. Speaking still to slop I've ever had. Hilarious. This room isn't big enough for the both of us. Take a walk, Tracy. Unless you want me to share your song with the rest of the dumping ground. I suppose you think I'm singing this song just because I'm blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Anna, Duke told me to tell you that you won't be finished paying my room until tomorrow. Bad luck, Rumi. Could we just have some peace and quiet for one minute, please? Apparently not. Hello? I'm oh, sorry, can you speak up? Hi, Josie? Uh, Josie from the band, yeah. Well, don't, don't you think you should tell Adele yourself? All right. Right, right, I'll, I'll let her know. Come for supper? What's the matter? Just hay fever. Oh. Is Amber being a pain again? Well, you can't stay out here all night. Better than Sharon Vaughn's spiky face. Hey, Trace, don't get mad. Get even. Oh, hey, really? Can I 
have all your new leather jacket? No! We always share everything. Nothing's private in a care home. Remember? <coughs> Where are you going? Back to my room. But we've still got loads more songs. Forget it! Yes! Tracy, good morning. Hi, Duke, you come to listen? No, I've come to tell you, if you don't pack it in right now, I may have to take that lovely saxophone, that very nice keyboard and that smashing bass guitar, put them in a quiet corner in the garden and set them on fire with my very large blowtorch! I thought you liked music, Duke. Constant bedlam and lack of sleep can do very strange things to care workers, Tracy. Where's Amber? Oh, she's gone back to her own room. Shame, really. I quite like sharing with her now. <laughs> Tonight. Tracy, I'm sorry, but you can't be in the band. Because the thing is, we failed the audition. We're not playing the gig. But you're really good. Josie rang me yesterday. Apparently they thought I was too nervous on stage. Are you upset? Of course not. I would be. <clears throat> Adele, that's great. One door closes, another one opens. It just so happens that we're looking for a singer in our band, aren't we, guys? Uh, yeah, yeah. How about it? Thank you. 